Hi everyone. Thanks for joining. I'm Clint Cameron, Product Marketing Manager at Sonar Source. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how Sonar Cube integrates into your GitLab workflow and how that's valuable for your team. Developers love to write better code, and feedback is an important part of that process. They ask for feedback from their teammates to find problems and to improve their code. And of course, they want minimal distractions. There's no doubt developers spend a lot of time in GitLab and they use merge requests. So this is where we should add value. Let's see firsthand how SonarCube integrates with GitLab and what that can do for your merge request. Please note this feature is available starting with SonarCube Developer Edition and it's easy to request a free trial online at sonarcube.org. Now, before we see that live demo, let's take a quick look at a typical workflow. And that starts with SonarLint in your IDE. SonarLint is a free open source IDE extension that's available for four popular IDEs, VS Code, Visual Studio, Eclipse, and IntelliJ. Okay, now we're done working with our code in our IDE and we're ready to open a PR. So we go ahead and launch that. That of course is gonna kick off our CI system and that will automatically kick off a sonar cube analysis. And when that analysis is complete, any issues found will get decorated right back into your GitLab merge request. Okay, let's see that demo. Here I have an open merge request in GitLab and you can see that we have a failed quality gate. And the reason for that failure is right here, we have a security hotspot that is unreviewed. So it's less than 100%. The particular quality gate that we're using for this demo requires 100% review on all security hotspots found. So we have a little bit of work to do. That's easy enough to find out the details. We click here, which will then take us right into SonarCube. You can see we have the same metrics here in SonarCube as what we had in that merge request in GitLab. And so here's that security hotspot. Let's take a closer look. This takes us to our security hotspot uh, UI. It's a dedicated interface that is designed to allow you to quickly and accurately review any security hotspots. Now, what we have flagged here is a, cross, a potential cross-site request forgery. So it needs some analysis and needs some review to determine. So as a developer, I would make that determination and then potentially change the status either to review, fix. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and set that to safe, change our status, and boom. No more security hotspots to review. And in fact, if we go back and then take a look at that pull request, sorry, merge request, we can see that we now have a passing quality gate. It's great. So now we can merge the code that we created with confidence knowing that we have clean quality code. Okay, so for GitLab, you can see that we bring a consistent, valuable feature set with every merge request. And that starts with the right information at the right place at the right time. And you can see that we give you quality gate status as well as metrics right in your merge request. And you could also see that we're able to block a merge when we have that red quality gate. You could also could see how we were able to drill down into the issue right into SonarCube. And then when we made a change to that issue status, it live updated right back to GitLab. We have support for GitLab.com as well as GitLab self-managed. There's a lot more to discover in the product dropdown on the SonarCube homepage, including a page dedicated to our GitLab integration. Now that's it for the demo. At Sonar Source, we're not done adding value. Future Sonar Cube versions will add even more good vibes to keep you writing clean, safe code. And please be sure to check out the rest of our YouTube videos and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.